uh, technical Sunday. I'm going to try to drop a video every Sunday. If you guys have a request on a technology that you want me to cover or do an intro video to, please say so in the comments section. Um, I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. Today we're going to go over Rainbow SQL, or I'm sorry, Rainbow CSV. It is a Visual Studio extension that helps you handle CSV files. I find it very useful if you deal with large sets of data or large CSV files at work ever. Um, all right, let's hop into it. We'll open your Visual Studio Code Editor. Go to this button over here that is Extensions. We're just going to search in the marketplace for Rainbow CSV. It'll be the first one. It should look like this. Go ahead and click install. Give it a second. Okay, here's some just descriptions of all the stuff you can do with it. We're going to close out of this. We are going to open a CSV file. So find a CSV file. This is just a simple one employee, first name, last name, phone number, hire date, date of leave. Now, you'll see they're color-coded, each column. Um, this is very useful when you have a lot of columns. I frequently deal with data that there can be up to 35, 40 columns in one Excel sheet or CSV file. I kind of start to get lost in the data when I'm looking for certain things just because the number strings, uh, different sizes, and things will run into each other. This really helps break it out. As many columns as you, as you have will be a unique color so that you can tell it apart. We only have six, so you only see six colors. Uh, for those aesthetic people out there, you can color code these, choose customize them, and choose the colors. I've seen some really cool color schemes. It's nice to do contrasting ones, so none of the columns blend into each other but that's besides the point let's see what else you can do with this if you're on macbook you'll want to hit command shift and p all at the same time to bring this up if you're on windows i think it's control shift p once this pops up type rainbow csv and these are all the options it gives you to run one of my favorite is align i'll break it out like this Makes data very easy to read. The other one is, here, let's close this out. I'll open it up again. Command Shift P, Rainbows, CSV, RBQL. So this is a play on SQL, the query language. It'll put your, uh, your data in this table right here and gives you the option to write a query. I will say it's a little different syntax than SQL, so if you can't get it figured out, uh, you might have to read the doc documents. But basically, we're going to run this statement that's select star or all where A1 Column A1 is greater than 99904, so it should only pull every employee that is greater than that number. We'll click Run, and there you go. It just pulls these. So you can see where this would be useful if you have a large set of data, and you're like, okay, I only want to get every employee that has a higher, higher date of greater than 2022 or greater than 2008. Um, you're maybe looking for sales number. I only want to select everyone that has sales over the, over this amount. So it's, it's really useful because then you can export this. Also, it won't drop the leading zeros like Excel. There's a lot more you can do with this. Um, just type Rainbow CSV and check out all these options. Okay, that kind of covers it for today. If you guys have a technology that you want me to cover,
please say so in the comments section. I'm trying to knock out as many videos as I can every Sunday. If I miss something, if I get something incorrect, if you don't like my syntax, please let me know. I will update the videos. I will make sure I have everything uh, up to par. I know there's a lot of ways to do things, but I'm trying to bring those all to you, so, so please comment. Thank you.